freue mich, euch heute Abend präsentieren zu können. Hacker Japan. So I'm glad to present to you this year again Hacker Jeopardy with Second Ray uh, from the CCC in Munich. Turn it up! Yeah! Ein Bild hätten wir noch gern. Yes! Ah. Jetzt will ich. Mach du mal, ich dreh mal den Monitor. Ah ja, drehen mal, genau. <lacht> so. Das kannst du eigentlich schon. Wir können eigentlich schon reinquatschen, genau. Genau. Quatsch mal rein. Können wir... Hallo? Ja. Ja, also ja. willkommen zum Hacker Jeopardy. Wie viel Jeopardy? 17. Hacker Jeopardy. Well, the first so. in Leipzig. <laughs> I'm happy that all of you found this room so late in the day. And we, we were hoping to find courageous candidates because apparently people are here for the first time. This is Jeopardy, it's an inverse quiz show. So we'll present answers and we're looking for questions that fit these answers. We have a first, second and third round and the winners of each round will face Alu Burka, the winner from two years ago. And win the trophy. I'll present the categories and the prizes so people come on stage for these fantastic prizes. We're looking in the first round, we'll be looking for quotes from the people who lead this country, our politicians who have proven how much they know about the topics they talk about. Then we have uh, security abbreviations. We have memes. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's something new from the internet of the 2000s. Vim, yeah, we, we mean the editor. It's, <laughs> it's the exact opposite. It's from the previous millennium. Yeah, those who are booing, you can um, you can be a candidate and show how much you know. And finally, we'll be talking about well, artificial languages, so languages that weren't don't come from the Tower of Babel originally. <laughs> so our fantastic prizes. We have our main prize. That's this fantastic. What, what exactly is that? We, we I have no idea. We were asked to to switch it off as soon as possible. Because it appears to need a lot of electricity and and our consolation prize is a 3D printer as the same as last year but it's it's unfortunately not here. But it seems to work quite well. It's self-printed. And we have a valuable book set with Quality Land, the book from Mark Uwe Kling, and a special highlight, and I'm not joking. <laughs> a basic law book booklet that has literally been trodden upon by a German official. It's not easy to get, <laughs> even though it happens all the time. I don't know what made it so difficult. Yeah, for secu security reasons, we're not, not telling his name, and it's all very unfortunate. And nobody has to leave without a prize. We have amazing consolation prizes for all who have the courage of participating we have the blinking blinking rocket rocket we have um, soldering sets 
and we have Arduino boards that have just hit the market. Nobody will be leaving without a prize, and even the public and the audience can join. Whenever somebody gets stuck, we have some amazing uh, uh, screwdrivers in memory of Vau Holland, and we'll just be throwing them into the audience. I hope the front rows have been handed the appropriate uh, safety gear when they entered. So we're looking for competitors for the first round. Somebody's waving at us from the front row. And uh, maybe people who haven't done this before. From one of the stands, maybe? Um, ich glaube, ich kann gleich Memes machen. Hier kommt eine 3. Und da bitte. Drüben, da drüben läuft noch irgendwer. Da so ganz vorne, das tun wir später mal. Nee, die Leute ganz vorne, die, sind, die sitzen schon zu lange hier. <lacht> drei. Ja, vier. Was? Vier? Vier, drei, also drei, ja, muss drei. einmal weg. Aber ich finde, mit Getränken gehört es sich nicht, von daher die beiden. <lacht> Trink die mal aus. Trink die mal aus. Und dann <lacht> genau. So it's like uh, the journey to Jerusalem, whoever sits here first. Musical gets chairs in English. Musical chairs, oh, I didn't know. It has a different name in English. Uh, whoever sits down first gets the seat. Der hat eine Nebelmaschine. There is a fog machine. Maybe like people were afraid because of it. So now the show can continue. So the categories you have already introduced. So we should ask for the names of the candidates. Please push the button and say your name. The answer to this question <laughs> could. <laughs> um, Alarm the uh, population. Yeah. Famous quote. That's too, that's too long, though, for to put down the name. Uh, he was. He meant to say de Monsieur. Um, so the next name is Mr. Blink. Or Pink. No. The Hex. And uh, Hex is the last name. So we are ready to start. As usual, we need to choose who to who, which candidate is allowed to start. Um, you can choose anyone from any category, and there are some double jeopardies. If you hit them, um, that's good for you. And you don't have to start at the top of each row. And if you get a double jeopardy, you can go through the row on your own. So uh, randomly chosen, we start with the Monsieur. So we are starting with smart uh, people for 300. So th please uh, make your answer a question. This group of volunteers could be uh, helping in digital uh, cases of emergency. Sees. The answer is, w which is the cyberware? Sure. Thank you for uh, being part of the cyberware. This helps a lot. <laughs> so let's say smart people for 400. So the cyberware is the German uh, cyber army. Yeah. So we are having a double jeopardy here, so it's 800. Um, Something the, the Minister of the Interior would need from the CCC, as he said on an IT summit in Berlin. I have a vague memory, but like I don't quite remember. I need help from the audience. <laughs> Some introduction to the basics of cryptography, maybe? Yeah, I think he would need it, but he didn't admit to that. <laughs> So, so that's wrong, so like everyone can buzz now. Someone is buzzing. So the knowledge, the know-how, 
<laughs> so the hotlines for crisis is the answer the audience just gave. So we need a random number generator again. I'm taking memes for 200. <laughs> oh really? This wasn't a question? <laughs> the intonation maybe was right? I would say it's a question. It did, did he pronounce the question mark? It does or end in a question mark, though. <laughs> Apparently there was a question mark. Uh, something for 200. Meme, memes for 300. What does a facepalm look like? <laughs> what is a facepalm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something with facepalm. Just anything. <laughs> Does your buzzer work, actually? Mm. Try pushing it. Ooh. Okay. It worked. Yeah, this one is working too. Awesome. So the te technology isn't failing. In no case it could be failing. Uh, SABK for 300, I think. Public key infrastructure. What is public key infrastructure? <laughs> so, yeah, you got the points. CRL. What is a certificate revocation list? That is correct. But they are not quite in style anymore. <laughs> oh, I, I have no idea. Something with email. <laughs> Yeah, but like, there is uh, no, there are too many letters. <laughs> What's an inferior alternative to PGP? <laughs> I mean, that would be correct, but that isn't what it stands for. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so who, like, so a couple of people raised their hands. Who did Google it? Please say it out loud. <laughs> what does the signal angel say? Can the signal angel help? I, I'm not hearing the signal angel, did you? Mm -mm. No, we are not hearing the signal angel. Secure multiple input <laughs> email? Probably. Multi secure multiple input, multiple email. <laughs> multiple email, okay. Was this correct? <laughs> that can't be right. Uh, no, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Who raised their hand in the audience? <laughs> no one is raising their hand anymore. Oh, we actually, do we know it? So it's secure multi-purpose internet mail extensions and like obviously we had to Google it. <laughs> so uh, at least people listening to the stream now should know it. Just listen to the, to the translation stream, you like, get all the answers. <laughs> well, maybe not. Okay, someone from the audience. Maybe we gave you a hint. <laughs> so Mr. Pink is next. Artificial languages for 100. Um. <sighs> Which is Klingon? <laughs> what does it mean? It means bless you, apparently. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's an insult? <laughs> what, what is a Klingon insult? Like, mm, yeah. that, that, that always, that's always right, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the facilitator to just counter with a counter question. Uh, yeah, last year we did something similar, but... Uh, <laughs> I have no feeling for time because uh, the becerometer exploded in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, artificial languages for 200. <laughs> A double jeopardy again. 
Nee, leisten kannst du dir nicht, aber gut. Aschnatzk, 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 Trakatuluk, Aschbutzerum, Ischi, Krippatu. Who doesn't know this by heart? I know where it's from, but I don't know what language it's in. Do we know what language it is? <laughs> what is uh, the engraving of one of the rings? Mm. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, one ring to rule them all. Mm. One ring to bind them. Yeah. I, I'm not a huge Lord of the Rings fan. <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, another artificial language is Mia. Oh, my hovercraft is full of eels in Vodapuk. <laughs> it looks a little bit like Spanish, honestly. It, yeah, okay, it could be Esperanto. Yeah. Uh, did they say Esperanto? It is. It was Esperanto, for, yeah. uh, but it's my hovercraft is full of eels. <laughs> <laughs> it's from uh, Monty Python. Correct. My hovercraft is full of eels. My luftkissen boat is full of eels. <laughs> 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 So, uh, one of the screwdrivers is going to an the audience again who also knew this one. The audience is also a little bigger, so... And we... Did, it, did the screwdriver hit someone? Uh, like, mm hmm. Let's... Don't look at it closely. Clever people for 100. <laughs> the internet, the chancellor uh, of the last um, <laughs> uh, of the last uh, administration. And the answer is, what is no? The question is, what is Neuland? What are these new shores that we are discovering? Yeah, Neuland has become a German meme because of a quote from our chancellor. It's the internet, according to U.S. Senate, Senator Stevens, who, who was against net neutrality. It couldn't be a series of tubes, could it? Yeah. What's a series of tubes? <laughs> the internet is full of eels? <laughs> What's a fad? What is what? a fad? <laughs> no, that <laughs> was Bill Gates, obviously. It will pass. It won't succeed. Yeah. A series of tubes. I mean, one ag once again, points going to the translation booth. Mm. <laughs> I mean, more specifically, waffles, obviously. But... Uh, Fim. <laughs> no, how do I close my editor? But no, no, no. Is it? I don't know, you're the BIM person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how do you insert the current date into the buffer? <laughs> <laughs> you learn with something Vim new every, every day <laughs> with Vim. Any uh, like any takes from the audience? And yeah, Waffle got it right once again. So again, a screwdriver is also going to the audience, but not to the translation booth. Maybe I should join as a uh, as a competitor next round. Film for 300. How do I repeat the last, the previous command? Is it just a dot? It is. It, it That's is all dot, it is. Yes. Excellent. And if you if you type ten dot, then you repeat it ten times. Awesome. 
I hope you're taking notes, notes in the audience. <laughs> That's very important here. So something for 400? Vim for 400. Obviously. Oh. How do I complete the... The, f Data the file currently name. incomplete file name at the cursor position. <laughs> <laughs> somebody got a. I somebody unlocked an achievement. What kind of oh, achievement? Was it? I didn't see properly. Uh. I just want to say. Is that we with this knowledge <laughs> we can get presents so it's like asking uh, someone what is the um, non pointy end of a hammer yeah how do I change the case of the of every single letter in the word that's currently underneath my cursor which is a feature you need every day I if I may, I do not understand the hate for Vim. It's, I find it very outrageous. Um, <laughs> so we are looking again at smart quotes for 500. Um, this digital com commissioner um, said... Um, <laughs> we wanted to introduce socialism through the back door of net neutrality. And who is Gunther Oettinger? It's bound to be. Mm. So the keyword is the second one, digital, digital commissioner. Ah. Uh, this should point you to the right direction. Who is Günther Oettinger? Yes. Yeah, the stage got it. I thought this can't be, it can't be this simple for 500 points. It is bound to be the new one after Oettinger left, but... Yeah, no, it was Oettinger. <laughs> uh, abbreviations for 400. ESP. <laughs> yeah, electric static um, program. Um, I think it's a German one. It, but like this wasn't quite it. Um, so, uh, but it's close enough. So I think they are going to count it. Do we get the right one? No, we don't. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we are taking uh, the same category for 500. Pff, no idea. <laughs> it's also from uh, the automobile industry. Yeah, no. Let's just Google it. <laughs> Um, electronic stabil stability control program. program. Oh, that was ESP. But what's ISAC oh, MP? So, oh, sorry. No, but uh, so we <laughs> we googled the correct one for the last the one. We have a research department here. <laughs> Hard at work. <laughs> Someone from the audience knows it. Sure. I didn't catch this. Oh, what? Internet Security Association and Key Management Protocol. Obviously, like that's that is very well known. Why I does nobody know that? <laughs> hmm. Someone from the audience um, also googled it. <laughs> very likely, also googled it. Yes, and um, they will need more screwdrivers. <laughs> They just dropped it in front of the stage. Uh, very well done. Um, there is some shouting going on in the audience. I don't know what it's about. Probably about the screwdriver and getting it to the right person, perhaps. Please don't show the screwdrivers. You can choose a category. We change the candidates from our current team. So no Hex is going to continue. Memes. Shut up and take my money. This is not a question, damn it. What is my money? Maybe. 
Because that's not very meme worthy. What is shut up and take my money? I didn't hear it as a question the first time. Um, so memes for 500. What if Pinocchio said that my nose will grow? Velociraptor. What is Velociraptor? What is Velociraptor? Yeah, <laughs> it does count. Even so, the question is answered. Well, the thing was given in English on stage. It still counts, you know. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Are we still in memes? <laughs> what <a> Fifi? <laughs> Very. Sure what is coffee <laughs> we, we are. Well, what is a correct pronunciation of that word, by the coffee way? Coffee. I is pronounce it, it coffee. Well, that's why it's so genius, right? Like everyone says oh. something different. I do pronounce it uh. coffee. Just pronounce it however you want to. Uh, now I'm having a good one. Hash yer dotra check ashke. So. The answer is, what is the TV show which is just in style? So it's, it's is it the one from Game of Thrones? I have not watched a single episode of that, but it might well be. Dashraki? Something like that. Dashraki? I'm saying, what is Dashraki? Or we are saying it. Teamwork. <laughs> it actually says... How do you say something in Dovraki? We don't really know how to pronounce this language, but whatever. <laughs> and the last one, artificial languages for 500. I should be getting, like the person should be getting points, but like also we should be getting points. So like the um, program is showing something wrong. Uh, like it's uh, attributed the points to the wrong person and someone is fixing it. Excellent. <laughs> someone's editing it by hand, actually. <laughs> no, yes, oh. <laughs> yeah, artificial language is 500. Yeah. What's what is a sentence in Lodzban? Mm. Where is this language from? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> the internet. <laughs> it's from the internet, for sure. And no one won? Who won? I have no idea. So, yeah, like we have a winner who's going to the final round and like everyone else gets um, <coughs> some like small prizes. Thank you for participating. And we're going to load the next round. Um, <laughs> disable the network. I'd actually quite like to join as a participant. Mm. I mean, we can switch out. Mm. <laughs> so. <laughs> now, uh, our very own Waffles Waffle wants oh, to join. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, thanks to whoever gave out the screwdrivers. So we're, the stage is ready for the second round. The first category is quotes. So, yeah, quotes from TV shows and movies. Uh, very current. What is the second one? I can't read it. Ancient. Ancient. Oh, did he say ancient? He's, he's still talking about the first category. Um, so the second category is an audio category where we have a very short snippet from anything and we want you to uh, guess where it is from and we can play it multiple times. The next one is, we are guessing port, uh, but the same we are looking at software, because romantic numbers, Roman numerals, Roman numerals. <laughs> oh gosh. 
Next one is top-level domains. Very current ones. Who is good in these categories? So I see one up in the front. Somebody over there. Maybe somebody from the for the back rows. Come up to the front. Yeah, you can see summit's coming. Make your way to the stage. And so people are just coming up to the stage, but like if people show up for multiple times, we are just sending them back. The audience, not up to the audience. He already was here with someone else. Just the first three people who showed up. In theory, we, we could play with four people. So we have one backup candidate <laughs> who, sh in any case, shouldn't pull on the cable on stage for the button. So please uh, press the buttons and give your names. <laughs> so we're furnishing the host of, this sh of the show with refreshments. Is that what's happening? I think so, yeah. Whiskey from Bodensee. It's whiskey from Lake Constance. <laughs> I'm actually getting a bit jealous over here. I can smell it from here. Stay away. Okay, maybe I'm not that jealous anymore. <laughs> you should know how nicknames work. So... You're just putting them in and apparently don't need any help. I find the small text very hard to read. I I, I'm sorry, I can't tell you the names. <laughs> it looks like quotes, ancient, one second, soft sports, and TLDs. Oh, yeah, no, I was looking at the names for the candidates. Oh, sorry. Xorax sucks. And, and then in the middle, it's like one character, like an ex exclamation point. Oh, up here it's better. And then, and then it's oh, Madonius. This helps. Madonius. But I can't. X O R O A X or something like that on the left. <laughs> uh, the software wasn't written in Tickle. What was that thing about the X? Eking brackets. J, look look for a double jeopardy. I'll take TLDs for 200. Antarctica has this TLD. What is dot AC? Good guess, but no cigar. Dot AC is wrong. He didn't, you didn't even press. You need to press so I can take the points away from you. <laughs> <laughs> and he does it. <laughs> the question, this question is still available to, to the floor, to the room. What, what is dot .aa? Dot .aa is wrong. The audience said it somewhere. Did you, did you hear? You can guess. You can still guess if anyone wants to lose some points here. If, Thank you. That is correct, yeah. So the, the only winning room is not to play. So it's dot .aq. Um, we have a very good dot research AQ. team Yes, with the us. research team is working hard behind the scenes <laughs> to bring you And again, the latest. And again, drivers are g being yeah. thrown into the audience. <laughs> We're Googling so you don't have to. I'll take ancient for 100. Or... Uh, this encryption method is also double as strong as the triple version. Uh, not more. It's not, <laughs> not should not be recommended. It's not recommended anymore. What is a triple of triple desk? As yeah, triple desk. So for, it was right. So the yeah. person is allowed to continue. 
one second. He's bold. He's bold. For going going straight for that. Five hundred. Ah. Do we, do we have even audio? have sound? Do we have sound? Nochmal. Ich höre es brummen. Ah, doch, man hört den Ton. Er müsste ein bisschen lauter werden, bitte. Noch lauter. Jetzt erkenne ich es auch nicht mehr. <lacht> uh, he says, I, now I, even, I can't even recognize it either. either. Also die 500er. Ja, ja. It's one for 500. This is why it's especially difficult. <laughs> I think he wanted to get oh, for this a double jeopardy, but now he sh he think I think she's lucky that it wasn't a double jeopardy. It's the first instance of a sound fire. The first second of a the first second. Monkey it's, Island. What is Monkey Correct. Island? Uh, and this point clearly goes to the audience. <laughs> Who has been thrown a screwdriver again? No, All we right. need need randomness, a source of randomness. So we have some actually some randomness in this program. Go for it. Hey Ray is what it says. Our technologists <laughs> says we can turn up the volume on the computer. Yeah, yeah. So the stream is also able to listen in. I don't know if you heard any of this audio which was just playing. But maybe this is going to be fixed for you now. I think we heard a little bit, right? We heard a little bit, but I don't know. We hear yeah. exactly well, what the stream is yeah. hearing. So, uh, Jay, I'll go for the TLDs for 300. Um, this is actually the place it's referred to with .io, which, as we know, is often used with other things. It's the hipster uh, startup TLD. But it's actually it's some Caribbean island or something crazy like that, I think. Yes, and there's a bit of controversy around that because yeah. uh, there might be some controversy around it, but especially on stage no one knows it. <laughs> what is the Ion Island? Ionian Island. Ionian Island? <sighs> what is Greece? <laughs> Which would be Ionia, I suppose. <laughs> I don't really remember the Ionian Islands, and like maybe they do they exist, ex but they're not there. It's <laughs> not it. We need more randomness. So the audience is functioning as our randomness generator. It seems the f the front row has been called upon. We want to know the question. So, which is the Indian Ocean? Ha, huh, obviously. Because it went that well, we are going for TLD for 500. And yeah, the British territories in the Indian Ocean, um, the .io. Thanks again to our research department. <laughs> So Zack is leaving the stage for some reason, um, but he should hurry up. He's getting lonely otherwise. So he's going to go for TLDs for 500. Uh, according to policy version 1.03, uh, this TLD uh, prohibited Justin Bieber, uh, Oprah Winfrey, and Daniel Nagari uh, prevented defaming them. Is that right? Um, I right, say so to the end of the alphabet. Yeah, to insult these people. Um, yeah, defame. Yeah. Dot WTF. Um, yeah, no, that's not it. But that would be kind of ironic. WTF. <laughs> to yeah. have uh, this uh, combination. <laughs> So one of this person actually is running this TLD, which what is dot .vin, which is not correct. Okay. It's even uh, further back. So X Y Z is all we got, right? So. so 
It's not. Uh, people, lots of people are saying XXX, but that's not it. Dot XYZ is the answer. Whoever said that gets the prize. So, Xorox is allowed to continue. Uh, quotes for 100. Trolls, trolls in the dungeon. What did Severus know? What did what Professor Quirrell know? Oh, Professor Quirrell from Harry Potter, yeah, that's it, right? Who is Professor Quirrell? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, wow, no Harry Potter fanboys on I mean, stage. You need to go up there. <laughs> Our, um, I really recognize the, the peanut gallery back here is regretting <laughs> not daring. Yeah, so the question is like, what uni universe is this even from? There's some great, great ones. Not the internet, it is, it is not the universe. Harry Potter, that's right. Which is Harry Potter, yeah. That, that's so easy, we're not going to give a prize for that. Yeah, <laughs> even. Man hat mir meine Stimme geklaut. Man hat mir meine Stimme geklaut. Somebody stole my voice, but now it's back. And so, uh, as a reward, you you can play the randomness generator. <laughs> On the last one, nobody knew the answer, as we saw. I'll pick um, out of date or ancient for 200. It's not a double, so uh, it's okay. Um, in the last century, this protocol, layer three protocol, was widely spread, um, but only used four bytes uh, to, to address, address one a, a device. Device, yeah. So, like IP. Uh, <laughs> it was well used. Yeah. What is IP V4? V4, yeah. V4, yeah. <laughs> You can, you have the board, you can continue. I'll go for soft ports for 200, on 100. One of the ports um, that Postfix usually lauscht, what is that? Listens, Listens to. to. Listens okay, to, okay, yeah, yeah. On. On, its, on, a, on a traditional installation. Witzma? Okay. Okay. So these kind of questions come up w when you play, uh, test this game with creative people. Can we, and like, the stage wants to have more sound on the monitor? Because the um, candidates don't hear very well what's going on. But I'd like to have soft port 200 now. On this port, you uh, can use Dovecot. Yeah, but I what's port one four three? Or one one zero? Oh, is it? For those of you interested, it's IMAP. It's IMAP over HTTP. This is the place where Unbound expects arriving packages. Packets. I'll give a Packets. tip. This is not one. It, because it's Unbound. What is port TP 350? And yeah, it seems 53. Like 53. UDP 53. <laughs> oh gosh, maybe I should also hand over in a second. <laughs> Ooh, we have a double jeopardy. jeopardy. And the audience is very in on it. <laughs> How much are you betting? And like, can I? go into the negative and obviously that's possible so it's I'm betting 300 you can also set a hundred you won't be uh, uh, darling everyone's darling like this a port which is provided by Gatling which is port 443 it's just limited support, but it's usable. <laughs> so you can continue with this category. <laughs> what is 500? <laughs> On this port, you can usually connect to a MariaDB instance, which is MySQL in you. 
This is very easy. Back in the day, it was known as MySQL. It's a four. Okay, who uses this glorified note <laughs> note box? What's port 369? Very close. Oh no, it's 3306. <laughs> and again, Scoot is going to the audience. This isn't bingo now. Now we're worth the game. Straight lines. Now Xoraxak can choose. But this is all very random. Something for 200? Quotes for 200. Now everyone goes to the toilet and then we'll um, start riding away. Yeah. Which is a quote from uh, Shoe of the Money to Shoe of the Money to, which is a well known German comedy movie. Um, yeah, they're talking about us because we have a problem because we don't know the English name of Shoe this Money oh, to. Oh, I don't, is there an English name? It's a German movie, right? It's a, it's it a German is. movie, it's a German comedy movie, uh, which we can tell you, um, but... Oh, we so we have a new quote, which is a quote from the Big Bang Theory. Yay. That was quite easy, apparently. And someone is now over zero. Yeah. Ooh, positive points! The, the first, first one here! Uh, what an accomplishment. <laughs> This is correct, but I, the person has been in positive points before this question. Just to be precise. So, because we haven't um, gotten points there, TLD is for 100. It's a wonderful category. This is the old TLD for the United Kingdom. Which dot GB. But it wasn't the question. What is, well, there's some debate. <laughs> what is dot GB? Or did you say this is dot GB? No, of course I didn't. <laughs> Can someone. I, I think Let's we should go into the positive direction, look at the points. If we don't want to go with negative points into the final round, I don't know if that's technically possible. <laughs> this is not golf here. <laughs> TLD for 400. This is the current meaning of the .arpa domain. ARPA, we've just heard from our research team <laughs> that ARPA is the original de internet domain, but we don't know the current meaning. Probably. No one? No? Anyone? In the audience? <laughs> People from the audience shouted the correct parts, but it was very confusing. It's the extension of ARPA, address, routing and parameter area. Just take the screwdriver, really. But then we again needed a random number generator. J so J next. So someone is coming up to take the screwdriver. <laughs> I'll take one second for a hundred. What is Nyanket? <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have the full audio, so you can't hear all of it. Let's go on. Quotes 500. The board is set, the pieces are moving, we come to it at last, the great battle of our time. None of us translators knows it. It's not a very special hacker context. 
It's more general. So if you just know what kind of thing it's from. <laughs> Something tells me Churchill. Unfortunately, no one. This is a quote from Gandalf. Yeah, almost. From Lords of the Rings. Hi. Lords of the Rings, part three. Riddle. It's the second Lord of the Rings quote we have. Oh, damn. J chooses one second, 200. What is the What's the wedding melody of Jeopardy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. You could think it wasn't even the, like the audio clip, but it's just the music that's all, all the time. <laughs> Ancient for 300. This self-igniting um, engine used to be um, seen as especially ecological and therefore had a tax break in Germany. It's the diesel motor, the diesel engine. Yeah. So ancient 400, we are staying in the category. Uh, this 128-bit um, hashing algorithm is, uh, this was so fast for me to read. Uh, this MD5 can't be taken serious anymore, basically. So there's a double jeopardy and someone currently has minus 100 and goes for a thousand, which I think is the maximum he could do. Since at the latest in 2014, um, you cannot recommend this special protocol or something because of the poodle attack. So there's the, the guy who has this double jeopardy, he's thinking and... And it's SSL version 3, which is apparently right. Hmm. So he Good won guess. his double yeah. jeopardy. That was a Good one. So up to 900 positive points now out of the negative. Excellent news. Was it uh, told as a question? Can you expand on Poodle? Can you expand on Poodle? Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. Silence, Silence is, is not an answer. <laughs> Take a new category. <laughs> One second, 300. <laughs> What's the start of um, Star Wars original title melody? <laughs> This is this was very specific, but if you know something, you can ask a very specific question. That's fine. To go for the win, I need to take one second for 400. <laughs> Did I press before the second? What is the beginning of a Rick Roll or um, Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Rossley? Rick that's the that's that's song. It's a very difficult decision that uh, someone has to make right now, but we're probably going to go for quote 300. I'm just an anonymous, I'm just alone. So let's just, just raise your hands if you recognize it. I'm just gonna be guessing a quote from the movie Vive for Vendetta. Is it a TV show? Looks like this might be Mr. Robot. 
It's from iRobot. We have a very tight winner. Magnolius. Madonius. The other ones get their consolation prizes. Please take your consolation prizes. For example, the no photo stickers. Jay! 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 The loser has to drink the snaps, the hard liquor. Come on up, Jay! <coughs> Waiting for you. Yes, he's making, he's doing it. Very courageous. Alcohol is not healthy. Do not try this at home. I'm sure none of you have tried alcohol. No, I'm sure none of you in the stream have ever tried alcohol. Can't both gleichzeitig. So, wir haben wieder Kategorien. Stell du mal die Kategorien wir haben fast nicht dabei. Illustrier bitte mal Cocktail. Okay, we have a couple of interesting categories. Let's start with cocktails. Now the ingredients for cocktails. We have C3 logos. Especially from local air fries, which are the local chapters from CCC. Vulnerabilities, so things that have vulnerabilities. <laughs> you haven't even heard the categories yet. How do you, how do you know that you're? Uh, how that you, oh, man pages and hackers on TV. Everyone who wants should go to the stage right now. I'm running towards the stage. Is that first come, first serve? Ooh. Yes. Uh, it is sneaky. I trust you implicitly. Completely. There's more and more people coming up. Why are there so many people there? Uh, being handed a note. Going to find out what's on that. Apparently, reading is quite difficult for some people. Hmm. Well, maybe it's a secret. The first, the first three <laughs> that are si sitting down. Oh, God. <laughs> so that's another musical chairs moment. Now, <laughs> we were hoping for the third to get some work to do, but no. <laughs> Someone could have sat down on the floor and that would have counted as well. No. But no one did, so, well. <laughs> Let's do the popular name game again. The audience is that way. Duracell. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds familiar. It's been a couple of years since so Duracell was on. So is Jeopardy. Jeopardy. YRF. Sehr gut. Und der dritte? 1 plus äh, U1 plus F4A9. U1 plus F4A9. What Unicode point is that? Uh, you it shouldn't be anything dirty, hopefully. Otherwise, uh. Jeopardy will be in trouble again. Apparently it's J K L U, which is O with an umlaut. No, it's part of poo. Of course, it's part of poo emoji. <laughs> but only part of it. Pile, <laughs> pile. 
<laughs> you don't have to press before um, choosing the category. Cocktails for a hundred. Buzzes are still fine. Carousel oh, just presses. How much? How much does? Oh. Yeah. Okay. That was keine Frage. That's <laughs> <laughs> so what well. cocktail is it? There are some disagreements as to whether or not that had been formulated as a question. Is chunk maybe a question? Or do you have to have, is it maybe chunk as a question? Right. Now there's some discussion about the intonation <laughs> of the <laughs> question. And were he competing for the first time, it might have been accepted. <laughs> okay. So, it's wrong. What is chunk? What's chunk? <laughs> well, that was surprisingly chunk. correct. <laughs> so, the, the, the answers from the experienced competitors are supposed to be a bit more precise. When we are having cocktails for 200. Two us vodka, one us kalua, half us cream. How do you make a white Russian? Silly made up units. How do you make a white Russian, isn't it? Oh no, that would be. Usually there's more stuff no. left of the RC4. The name of the cocktail. The, the audience knows it's a white Russian, and we knew in here, but they didn't. What's vulnerable 100? Encrypts unpatched Windows systems since May and um, mines Bitcoin. Or, well, not mines Bitcoin, extorts Bitcoin, I suppose. What's WannaCry? <laughs> WannaCry. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Took some time, but managed to get there. I were close to timing out, though. <laughs> it's quite well known, actually. Man pages for 100. Writes any specified opera in separate by a single blank characters and followed by a new line character to the What's standard echo? output. What is echo? I think those points go to Tony. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> During the test round, they they also had what is yes. Yeah. Ah, but because it because it's not <coughs> on yes's man page. It. So, echo. Does come as a binary as well, it's not just a built in. This is double jeopardy. Pile of poo is not very good on man pages. No, they didn't dare put the double jeopardy on one of the higher scoring uh, man and pages. And he takes everything. Arguments according to form. Is it S, S print F or print F? Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing they want print F, but I'm not quite sure. S print F. I don't know the difference between S print F S and print F. Makes a string. The other one. Right? Print F. Print F is mm. right. Oh well. We should be playing this. We yeah. really we're, we'd be winning. Be on stage. We're doing vulnerable 200. A buffer overread that allows reading parts of the server's memory. What's hard bleed? Mm. Which has a really nice logo, apparently. It has. I don't. Oh. Cocktails for 500. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so 
So it looks eerily similar to the White Russian, but it... <laughs> it's the third from the cocktail Open WRT series. And not series. mixed, they're layered. Were there open WRT releases without alcohol? I don't remember. I don't think so. I hope no one from open WRT is actually in this room. Halte an dich. No one? What? B-52 is false. B-52 is wrong, which is what the audience apparently thought. And which I was close to guessing. <laughs> Irish coffee is wrong as well, because, yeah, it, but... Well, it, well, the coffee would be in the Kahlua, but... <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you need more coffee. Yeah. There's a debate about the, the alcohol on stage and who drank it right now. I don't know what happened. We should check the stream later on. Maybe someone could tweet it? <laughs> Did someone Google it by now? Google says butt slide, but apparently their solution file does not say butt slide. I'm getting butt slide as well. Orgasm is also an option, but not the right solution. Cream recipes? <laughs> okay, our research team found Irish cream, but they are looking for something starting with B. <laughs> I can't remember it. Backfire. Backfire. Okay. So, chance has chosen just. <laughs> C3 logos for 200. Stuttgart. Uh, no, that'd be Essen. Uh, West. I'm not sure whether it's all of Chaos West or only Essen. Ah. What do we recognize on it that makes it Essen? Uh, the. Sechet Sofa and the cold. Yeah. Mine Tower is very, yeah, it's a landmark of Essen. It might be, or not. It's, it's related to one of the local CCC chapters and... This is real chaos, you can see that. But... What logo does a chaos organization in Bochum have? Chaos in Bochum is called Lab, by the way, which is not relevant for this because it's not the right answer. <laughs> Sorry, that's wrong, unfortunately. I think it's Chaos West as a translator, but... I mean, the, the, yeah, the, the, they got the region right. Is someone here from there? Let's see your hands. Okay, it's Chaos Pot, which is Essen. <laughs> Isn't that the same as Bochum? No. But it's not the same. Right, Gelsenkirchen is the same as Essen, but no. But all of it is Chaos West, actually. Um, UTF-8 character can continue. In this film, Matthew Broderick war dials himself into the WOPR. War games. I think we saw, we had Whopper before. How do I describe do I? war games? For the young people in the audience, downloaded from some FTP server. It's actually, it's, it's not a bad film. Uh, this isn't the film where Angelina Jolie is naked. 
C3 logos for Millie 100. Ways. Oh, yeah. What's the logo of Milliways? It's the rest. Yeah, it's the restaurant at the end of the universe. I mean, yeah. Hackers on TV for 200, uh, and that's a. T for, for In this TV show, we have a talking computer car that is hacked with a joystick. This happens in one episode of this TV show. <clears throat> what happens in Night Rider? Hap oh. <laughs> oh what, what did I not know happened in Night Rider? <laughs> and that's the first two rows of the uh, of the table gone. C3 logos for 500. No. <gasps> What's Chaos <laughs> West? Or possibly that? We don't know. Apparently, it's been <laughs> recognized before. Now, someone guessed Ka Chaos Bochum. If you turned around by 90, 90 degrees, the bottom but part is a B. This is actually Chaos West, I'm guessing. CW. But they don't know. You can read it. It might be an old logo. I think this year's badge actually showed this logo. <laughs> what does the logo of Chaos West look like? Yes! Good job! Oh, a lot of points were lost in that question. <laughs> we'll do this by line this time. Uh, this is an MITM Man in the middle exploit. attack on TLS, TLS by downgrading the Diffie-Hellman key exchange. What's Poodle, but that's wrong, unfortunately. Poodle was SSL, not, TL, not TLS. Just for your information. When did all of you regenerate your Diffie Hellman keys? Did you all generate new D Diffie Hellman keys? You did, Please? did you not? <laughs> 768 bit should be enough for everyone, really. Lock jam. Lock jam. Lock jam. Apparently. Again, from the audience. <laughs> and it's great that bugs have names these days because guessing CVE numbers didn't seem that exciting to us. A flexible tool for interrogating DNS name servers. What's dig? If, if you're still using NS Lookup, stop, please. It can't even do DNS sync. Show manipulate routing devices, policy routing, and tunnels. What's IP? What's IP. If, if you're still using ifconfig, do not use ifconfig anymore. Use IP or IP route. Man for 500. Each session is persistent and will survive accidental disconnection sessions. What's Mosh? What is Mosh? Oh. Shit, damn it! CBD. Tmux. Oh well. What's Tmux? If you're still using screen, please switch to Tmux. And you can even use Control A instead of Control B if you're used to Control A. This film plays partially in the CCH and shows Ingolf Luck, a German comedian, using Datex P. It 
but that was when the CCA was still fully there. But yeah. What, what is date XP though? <laughs> Zufälligerweise auch der Anfangsbuchstabe vom Filmtitel. Ich hoffe, der ist hier, ja, ja, stimmt, der Anfang, das Ende der Frage. Date XP sounds like one of those failed German standards. Yes, of course, it was by German Telekom. Und er gibt wohl meinen German Standard. Ja, ja, ein guter Film in Deutsch und so. This is a pretty good movie in German, apparently. Peng, du bist tot. Peng, you're dead is the movie, but it's a German movie, so... I don't think anybody in this translator's booth has seen it. No. C3 logos for 400. Uh, what? It's been censored. Something's been censored? I, I think it's supposed to look like that, to be honest. I also think so, because otherwise it would just be standard. Yeah, so we, we think it's supposed to look like this, but we don't know the answer. And on there, no one knows the answer apparently either. Although it was supposed to be a hundred question instead of a more difficult one. So apparently it's supposed to be pretty easy. What's the logo of Chaos Computer Club Munich? And of course, the rhombus is taken from uh, the Bavarian crest of arms. Oh. Uh, coat of arms, but it's, yes, they have a checkered blue and white pattern. We'll go on to cocktails 300. Total abwechslungsreiche Frage category. There's a lot of very different questions in this category. That's a variety. Ten ounces is quite a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Seems like to me, yeah. Ten chance. Gut, wenn wir Leipzig einen starken Schnabel gibt. Irgendwer kann uns bestimmt live sagen, von wann Revision 6041 war. Someone should be able to tell us when Revision 6041 was actually live. My favorite part of the recipe is salute. Nein, das ist kein Margarita. No, this is not a Margarita. If you put vodka into margarita, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> and it's actually a reference. If you're using bleeding edge software, then you're committing this. Kamikaze. <laughs> I would have considered it a zombie, but uh, there's too little alcohol in there for a zombie. This security gap demonstrated on day one in this room shows a vulnerability in WPA2. What's crack was the question. Double jeopardy! Vulnerabilities fear 400. <laughs> Someone understood the game, apparently, after, after three, three rounds. rounds. Mm. <laughs> What's shell shock? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's part of shell shock? Yes, that is right. I say jetzt nicht, that our test publicum consequenterweise gesagt hat, was is eine fork bomb. Our test audience, they said, what's a fork bomb? But for a fork bomb, there were actually some characters missing. So the answer given right now was actually perfect. So you can choose the next one. Hackers on TV for 300. In this series, the uh, hero uses a latent imprint on a palm reader, on a hand palm reader using scratched off wall paint and a jacket. And we all thought, man, this is really not very realistic. 
The answer is not what is media.ccc.de. What is that latent app? We, we were wondering what latency imprint means. We don't know the German either. What's MacGyver? Yes, that is right. And almost without help. Hackers on TV, 400. This 1998 film is about Karl Koch. What is... Nothing but the truth. Nothing is true, everything is allowed. There seems to be a certain degree of uncertainty. Yes. We'll take 300 for now. C3 logos, 300. Hmm. Do we see that? We see a screwdriver. I think it's a solder. solder. There's a soldering iron and... It looks like a kitchen utensil. Well, I see a screwdriver, right? Like, it's the... Mm. Oh, yeah. It's on some sort of SMD soldering kit. But what's the kitchen head there? <laughs> Apparently this soldering kit is called Kitchenkopf, but uh, Kitchenkopf is not the right uh, logo. Oh, nobody listens to them. Do we see a 10 or an I.O.? The binary kitchen. Yeah. So binary kitchen. Yeah. So that would be a one and a zero. Oh. <laughs> this cocktail is better thrown away. Also, wer im Talk vor uns war? If you if you saw the talk before this one. Oh, what a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> Womit ich nicht gesagt haben will, dass links unten irgendwie das Nerven von Molotov gut heißt. Now, I'm not, I don't want to say that left down, well, links which is unten. links unten, the condones um, actually throwing these Molotov cocktails. That's not what I'm saying links at all. Links unten was a left wing blog that got banned in Germany. Yeah. So now we have the final round and all of the previous winners coming up. I've heard Alu Burka is in the house. Alu Burka is a winner of previous years. Okay, so he apparently one last year? No, two years or ago. Or two years ago? He's been on last year as well. And he was on last year as well. <laughs> now we need someone to carry his train. In der Zeit vielleicht bitte noch mal unsere beiden Ausscheider aus den beiden Vorrunden. Wir haben noch die Elektronikbausätze hier. And there in this time, some electronic scales to be given away to the people who left in the previous rounds. Please come on up. Get your consolation prizes. <laughs> so no one really has a shot against Alu Burka. So they're thinking of just walking away. Now again, the moderators presenters get some. Are, the presenters are presented with sherry. Hmm. Teil, 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 teile dies dem Bediener mit. Ja, 
Cyril now has a name <laughs> because he actually won a round, so he now gets a real nick. He's not no one anymore. Now press the button. And YLRF is with us again. How can you use the same name in two rounds? Are you part of the establishment? Please, I'm backslash Madonius this time. I need to try to win somehow. And there's, of course, Alu Burka. All right, we're going to read out our final categories. Backslash LaTeX, or LaTeX, how you pronounce it. LaTeX, I think. I've heard multiple things. <laughs> Drinks that represent a LaTeX formula, is that what we said? Strings, hopefully. What? Oh, strings. No <laughs> drinks. I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> so if you see eight over three, you shouldn't say eight over three. You should just calculate it in your head and just not stop saying it. Say it forever and ever. So we have laws as our second category and programming mistakes where we have code snippets. And there's some mistakes that we, you can see. Uh, I've, I found my GitHub with programming mistakes. Sequences, we have sequence of, of numbers and we don't, we don't want the next number, but we want the, the rule that describes uh, this series. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, natural numbers. So RFCs, requests for comment. I'm guessing. Our test audience uh, got about 30% of them. But would so, you think this is very doable? And let's honor Alu Burka by having him open. So I'd like to start with programming mistakes for 400. And right straight in the middle of the board, maybe there's a double jeopardy there. So zero is his person. So what's the mistake of forgetting the parens on if? And so uh, the statement always uh, passes and yeah. it's very quickly answered and correct. So we're we're going for programming mistakes for five hundred. Sex is reading off a contact that makes me afraid. Uh, this one's a little harder. It's not a precise programming mistake, but we want to know what the weakness is here. What's the problem where a string might not be null terminated, and so so you get some garbage data? At, at the end, well, yeah, might might you could imagine that. <laughs> okay, we'll give it neutral because it's not it it is one possibility, but there's still some debate about whether it's right or wrong or neutral. So, so this is this is when when you don't do um, constant time operations, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is not constant time, which is the right answer. So actually. it's important to have the variable names to be able to guess there, it seems. So is that it happens in the, in the real world, sorry. Okay, it should be easier. Totally easy. Sir says, what's the wrong reuse of a pointer that had a double star, double, what was it? Double asterisk? Yeah, double asterisk, yeah. So apparently this is really only programming mistakes in C. Which is sort of uh, redundant, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're again in C. Yeah. 
what say stack overflow or buffer overflow? Yeah. Are those not different? Oh, <laughs> Oh, what's an infinite loop? Infinite loop is what we're hearing from the, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so and he guesses it. Loop? What's an infinite loop, yeah. So the translators win again. Yes. <laughs> so there's some debate about whether the person who won this category actually sent in this category. Uh. And at this point, we want to thank everyone who sent in these questions, because it's really difficult to find them, and it's quite interesting to see all of them. And if you're interested, you can just come in, and we still have to get rid of all of our alcohol. <laughs> And thanks for everyone who supported us in making this happen. And there's clapping from the audience. Moving on with LaTeX for 100. And so, what is 23? What is 23? Yeah. LaTeX for 200. We're, we're trying to get home here. All right. What is 42? Did you guess or did you calculate that out? I, I can get put numbers together in my head. Oh my God, what a skill. Yeah, lots of people. Uh, LaTeX for 300. What's two? Yes, two, two, two over four. Yeah, so one half. Yeah, so we got that. Uh, I'm guessing 500, I have to prove that P equals NP or something like that. Uh, but and, and in double jeopardy. So let's go for 400, please. Oh, ooh. <laughs> oh, man. E to the negative pi, natural log. So, well, natural log, that pulls the pi out, right? Yeah. Zero. Negative pi. Minus, minus one? Negative pi. Negative pi over two, oh, so the sign of negative What's pi. What's one? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at the face of all the other Jeopardy participants. <laughs> they didn't know what they're getting themselves into. Just do it. <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun. What is math RM? Oh, oh that's just a regular character. So this is this is a integration. What is one? So you want to explain that for everyone in the stream? The problem isn't understanding; it's the the speed of what of 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 needing to calculate it. <laughs> Please read it out loud for our audience. This is an integral of cosinus x. The basis of cosinus x is sinus x. And the, then, si the sine of x? Yeah, the sine of x. And then they do some, some magic, and obviously it's... Yeah. It's one. One. Sure. <laughs> this reminds me of when I studied information technology. Computer science. F for the second time, and I was the only one who could solve these integrals. Even the... <laughs> Teachers weren't able to do that. <laughs> it, was, it was a better decision than your the, the thing that you studied before that, which was German studies, German yeah. language and literature. We'll let we'll let randomness decide. Uh, so we'll go for a hundred for RFC. Tim Berners-Lee. Can we turn off this buzzer, please? <laughs> what is HTTP? Was guessed. Yes. Which was correct. So 200 RFCs, because we're off to a good start here. Whoa. Whoa. What are the 12 networking truths? No. That's wrong. They were much later, we think. You didn't come till so much later. Don't jump in here. 
<laughs> what is IP over avian carrier? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, so basically, what we've got with the Wi-Fi situation in this room. Right but now. we don't want to bash the knock at all. They yeah. do a terrific job. Hendrik macht nur WLAN. Ja. Gesetze für 500. Gesetze für 500. Suing for laws or rules for 500. Oh, we got a double jeopardy on a 500. Might have been been wise to look at the others first. You don't even know what it's about, and you have to decide, because we haven't seen anything else from this category. So between what values am I allowed to choose from, from zero to a thousand? <laughs> We've got lots of advice from the audience. <laughs> so he's going, he's for, going 50, for 50, which would be almost the lowest amount. It's all y'all's fault. <laughs> you know, you know, you're gonna have to walk out through this audience. <laughs> yeah, if you're trying, you're playing to win. You, you get. Okay. Go, go that only happens if there's actually a, a miracle this time. <laughs> okay, and this is the the law. Anything that can go wrong will go, will go wrong. Which would what be what is Murphy's law? Murphy's law. <laughs> this basically references itself because everything that can go wrong will yes. go wrong. He chose yes. only fifty dollars, so it's fitting for this situation. Yes. yes. What's Which, situational irony, I guess? <laughs> Did you lose, win similarly with bitcoins? <laughs> I want to say I'm the only person who actually got 50 points this today. <laughs> but surely you're not the first person. We've got 20 years of three streams to look through. I'm sure you're not the first. So you can, uh, you have the board. So he's going to go for laws for 300. Uh, this principle. Um, demands to use the simplest explanation yeah. for one thing a phenomenon um, yeah. for multiple theories you pick the simplest one what's yeah. Arkham's razor Occam's. Occam's razor yes laws for 400 um, this law s says <laughs> what is Parkinson's law Park is on the floor but there's some debate <laughs> <laughs> Parkinson's law is not the right answer, <laughs> but it's creative. Does I it exist? Like, I feel like I've heard of Parkinson's law. That, I think that might be something like, that's something in software engineering, maybe. Well, this is software engineering. What? It's self-referential again. What's Hofstetter's law? You saved yourself out of there. Laws 200. This law saw, says that every single discussion on the internet will have a Hitler comparison. Eventually reach a, a moment of Hitler comparison. <laughs> Someone wants a Turing test. <laughs> Because this person is too fast on the buzzer, yes. is that it? And yeah. too good, I think. And too good. Oh, yes, we see the red the yeah. dominating the board there, painting it red. <laughs> so I don't have to look before I solve the formulas. So maybe he's actually well from Alpha, but he claims he is not. <laughs> If, if we have enough time, we'd like to pay a final Jeopardy question. Final Jeopardy. So after playing the board, you can you can um, 
you can bet all the points you have for a question that's you will answer on paper, and anything can happen because. And this is more realistic because this is what actually happens on Jeopardy. On the real Jeopardy TV show. Yes. So this, this, yeah, the the rule that says if it exists, there's a point of it. Which is rule 40, uh, 34 if you're interested. Oh, yes, Did. yes, I think. <laughs> and if you think you know the answer, you can just press now before you before you press it. And he says, I have. I, or, sorry, I did that. I did that. His cable is shorter. Yes. <laughs> Let's do high speed trading, uh -huh. and apparently, the light speed is going against you. I feel like it's electrons and not proton, uh, photons here, right? Yes. Let's go on. Let's do sequences 100 to complete the sequence of red. This Fibonacci. Fibonacci sequence, yeah. What's cubes? No, not cubes. Tree to the power of threes. Yeah, cubes. Oh, cubes. Oh. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Cubics. Cubes. Cubes, yeah. Yeah. Ah, ah, yeah. What are the decimal places of P? Yeah. Of pi. Of, of pi, Sorry. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we shouldn't switch out. It's <laughs> so 400. What are, what is... What, does what are the prime numbers in binary? Yeah. So the same person continues. Uh, Aluboka, you are allowed to play as well, you know. I'm trying to survive. <laughs> but whatever diet you've been eating, um, so it wasn't good, it didn't work out for you. Referring to the fact that Adelburger so was about fat last year. We're going for FC for 500, which is a double jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> and we might just be trying for 58 points again. As as the audience is shouting, shouting something. Every, you know, bet it all, bet it all. <laughs> so the audience was just asked if he was allowed to break the game, and he is asking for one point. <laughs> the software does not seem to allow for this. You. He is asked to go all in. <laughs> you can't see his points because it's behind the um, double jeopardy number. So, can you stop <laughs> shouting all in? <laughs> it's a very difficult situation in a quiz game, so you know. It's not only about winning. So the prizes are giving out uh, like in accordance to the uh, like the direction of the winner. So if the first uh, one chooses a 3D printer, you get like the original first prize. You we may be familiar with one of these numbers, perhaps. But <laughs> but if he can't answer the question, will be opened to the other contestants. Yeah, the I know numbers. I know people who have this as a license plate. 
Was ist FTP? I don't think there has been a follow-up after the second one. It just died at some point. Five, three, two, one looks familiar. No. Is there an other pair? Of 821 and 282. What is the internet protocol? So the research department has it, by the way. Which would be SMTP. Hello, Bob. Ah, sorry, I was going to go ahead. So it's the only internet protocol. All, all RFCs are internet protocols. It's the internet, it's just not electronic. There are practical applications for avian carriers to make people learn to write IP packets. And the audience also got SMTP. So the screwdriver is going to the audience again. And we've already had both double jeopardies from the sport, so sequences. What are the triangular numbers? Okay. What are factorials? Yes, mm. it's factorials. So we are going for RFC for 300. And um, the hint is to look at the author of this uh, RFC. It might be a good hint what it is about. But J. Postel is the author. Postel is the betrüger, der sich ja. Any hints from our in house research department? <laughs> Hey, DARPA and this is with the internet, I guess, maybe. I can give the hint that it already has been an answer today. What is the, <laughs> what is the, the internet protocol? Yes. <laughs> which, which one? Which the? The only internet protocol, obviously. <laughs> So, <laughs> does, uh, so, yeah, the audience is asked, and like the audience is saying no. I think IPv4 is also an RFC 791. Okay. <laughs> it's not FTP. Uh, and oh. it has been mentioned today on the stage, but not by you. So is, is it like V6 and V4? I think so. And then like, so V6 seriously came out one year later and then... So Aluboka was not exactly wrong? Someone is saying they weren't born yet. So audience? What specifies IPv4, of course? So, yeah, like, this is why uh, the moderators were asking for the specific internet protocol, but like Aluboka just didn't give the right answer, so. Can you give minus points to Aluboka just to, or just put them on zero? So, like, the moderator is asking again, um, if I'm asking about which internet protocol is it, because the 
only one, which is the correct answer, would be IPv6. IPv6. Um, and like the other one would be what was, what what has been the Internet Protocol. What is IPv6? <laughs> But so we have an obvious winner here. <laughs> so on a technical side, we could have an additional question. A tie break question. So we have time to play the final round for experimental reasons with a final question. Final Jeopardy. It's so we need very professional software, which actually is paper. So we have um, pens. So in this group, you need to write down uh, your answers so your neighbors can't see them, which might be challenging. And the first thing you need to put down is how many points you put in. And the category is an acronym, so now you can put down your points. And everyone needs a pen. An analog plotter. So this is going to be about an acronym, and you need to decide how many of your points you would like to wager. And just to explain the category, so you know what you're getting yourself into, so I would I would say TLS, and you would have to write what is transport layer security, but it's not going to be TLS, and might not even be that internet specific. Maybe write your name as well, so we're not getting confused later on. Don't copy from your neighbors. Or write a wrong Don't. answer, someone else's name. So if you want to win, you need to put all. You need to go all in, but also you could be more strategical and put in like a number which just puts you right above someone else. So if, when everyone has put down a number, yeah. So please tell us the final question. Final jeopardy. <laughs> In the real version of Jeopardy, you'd not be allowed to play with negative points. But, um, <laughs> Can I put in negative points so I get positive <laughs> points if I get it wrong? Oh, this game is just stupid for hackers. Um, there was a possible bug, but we have fixed it, so it's no longer possible. Schwierig ausgewürfelte, unhackerische Frage ist heute Laser. And the completely non-hackerish question is laser. So L is probably light. So if anyone has laser pointers, just point some. Um, yeah, we have, ah. we have the first one. A might be amplify. Oh, I don't bloody know. Ampli yeah. Do we have a guess? Light amplification signal. 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 Oh. With extend extended range. <laughs> okay, what's that supposed to do? <laughs> so, one of the prizes is this wonderful hoodie which says Bauwatt on it. So, construct something to construct beautiful uh, structures. And the Munich CCC has sponsored it. Good luck. <laughs> we will say that we have seen the answer and it's probably going to be impossible. <laughs> okay, so again, we have a research team um, who has uh, searched this for us. Do we want to tell the stream or do we want to? We'll, we'll yeah, let's. The okay, so you can also write down your guess <laughs> and then check if it's right 
Well, maybe hint, the L is indeed for light. So, um, we got one letter right with our own guess, which... No, no, we are just saying we got one letter right. Or well, two. Two? Yeah. Which one? Oh, yeah. We got two letters right, so... I mean, you just have to figure out which we got right. So, the guesses... Um, Lüff has uh, put in 400 points. I don't get the strategy behind this. Light amplified synchronized um, electromagnetic radiation. Radiation was the last word. I mean, it would come out as laser, but it's, that's not quite it. It's three out of five. It's not bad. Is it Antonius didn't write it as a question and is this still does this still count? He appears to have won the audience's hearts. <laughs> and he waited fifty again. <laughs> light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation, which is of course correct. Um, Madonius ends on 300 points, Ulf on 900, and which pretty much guarantees him the second place. Because, of course, Cyril asks what is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. And wagering 100 points earns him uh, the yeah. prize in this year's Jeopardy with 2,700 uh, 2, points. I'm oh, we didn't have a Jeopardy last year, uh, but um, so this year's winner will likely be invited back on stage in two years, and next year we might do another game. So what prize do you choose? So I asked my hackerspace, and... Uh, yeah, they are. Uh, they want to, to get the 3D printer, so. It's not the newest, but it's not a crap device either. So the 3D printer goes to the first place. The second uh, place gets the hoodie, because that's the price which is left. We have two of them, L or XL. Yeah. So, the third prize, uh, again, like hoodie or do you want the fountain? And again, a hoodie uh, is given out. Otherwise, it would have gone to the audience. And as no one else has come up to the stage to get the consolidation prizes, um, otherwise we are just giving out um, like the Arduino kits. Um, yeah. Just like all the prizes which are still left there, just given out to the audience. Where's our prize? The prize? Okay. Been able to do this. Hmm. Sorry. Nein, die Zuschauer Wenn der Brunnen übrig bleibt. Haltest du so gerne? Ich habe einen gefunden. Okay, so that's it from our translation. Um, like prizes are still being given out to the audience. If you're um, in the hall, just go up to the stage and get some stuff. Um, uh, thank you for listening to our translation and playing along of the Hacker Jeopardy this year. We clearly won, um, <laughs> obviously. Maybe the Swiss Germans next to us also won. We don't know about them. We couldn't listen in. Um, but this has a, been a translation by Waffel, Katie, VMCC, and Tony, and 
Uh, yeah, again, if you have any feedback, you can always write us on Twitter at 33 Lingo or hashtag C3T. And yeah, enjoy.